Hello viewers. This is the ceiling fans at the Home Depot in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Ooh, almost $60 for the Middleton. I remember when they were like only $40. Wow, they really gotten up in price. Yeah, that's kind of expensive for a cheap fan. I wanna see what the price of the Littleton is. Oh, speaking of which, I suspect this is an old little tin, judging by the way how the light is. See how it has kind of like a switch cap on it, and it still has that old school style Hampton Bay logo on it. And where's the, oh, there it is. 37? I remember when they were like only $17. That is so expensive. Very expensive. And $85 for the Hampton Bay Hawkins. Look at that. They really gotten up in price. I think I'm better off going on eBay and buy one cheaper. I'm trying to use my... And here are the swag kit sections. Here's the swag kit. It's only a two-wire swag kit, so I wouldn't usually use this permanently but you know a lot of people just don't care about the ground anyway but in reality the grounding should have more attention than that here's a yellow one i like the yellow one i just like it i, I don't know why i like the yellow it just it will just go all with the decor in my room but yep i'm pretty sure there is Oh, let's let's take a look at the bottom. Here's an electrical box. Only five dollars. I might just get one because if I can find a gold finish fan at the head. Oh my goodness, that one is broken blade. Here's the Hampton Bay Mena, which probably replaced the Hampton Bay Mara, which. Fans, alarms, lighting, etc. as they're called. Here's the Oakers. That has a bent up blade in there in a broken blade, so. Oh look, they still have the Alutra too. That's like the only ceiling fan I like from there. But I'm pretty sure it's very high in price. Yep. $250. Very expensive fan. I don't know how it performs. I mean, despite it being made in China, I still like that one, to be honest. Even though it's a more modern fan, I'm more into the old fans. Still like it. Oh, look at there. That one has two broken blades. Absolute garbage. That one has a bunch of blades bent too. That definitely does not make Home Depot fans any better. And here are the extension cords. This one is, yeah, it's a two wire. I want to look for one that's a three wire and it's a yellow cord. Is this, that's three prong. 15 feet, that's the, let me, let me, yep, that's a three prong, that's three wires. Wow. That one is a pretty good extension cord right there. I don't know if that's electrical wire. I don't know if it is or not. Here's the light fixtures. Yeah, all of them just look so modern. That one looks a little bit like an antique, but at the same time, it's modern. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of them are LEDs. Yep, all of them have the LED light bulbs. Not incandescent. Here's 
here are the more here's some more fans. That one also still has that broken blade. I remember last year I filmed these. And these have and this hugger has bent up blades. And none of them have the uh, motor I need for my Evergo hugger. And here's the back. more light fixtures. I think we have this one in our bathroom. I want to see if there is like, oh, here's, oh, great, they're all LED. This one's CFL. I don't know if they're, I heard they're uh, flickering trash. I don't know if it's true though, but I've heard some people say it's not flickering trash. I like this diet. Oh, look at this. This is a Dayton. It's a Dayton ceiling fan. Yeah, I'm gonna see what Mike needs. That one looks like a ceiling fan, like. Here's some globes. Oh, I think my turn of century Tivoli has the same globe. That's cool. And this one looks like a Lilton globe. globe may maybe just maybe work in my evergo hugger but i also want to have my uh my evergo hugger with see these light kits right there yeah there are some other fan accessories right here here are some down rods they don't have a gold one like I would want on my down our little tin. Here are some pull chains. Oh my goodness. This is what LEDs are. Now it's flickering. Yep, LED lights. AKA LFT lights, light flickering trash. Oh my goodness, look how much that remote is. Yeah, these really gotten up in price. Here's, some, here's the socket for a light. Here's some more lead wires. Yep. Yeah, I really like that old little tin. That little tin right there is ancient. I, I'm thinking that's an air cool little tin. I'm not too sure though, but I'm like 95% sure it's an air cool. Yeah, that's ancient. Hope they lower the price even on these. I don't know why they are so expensive. Here are some more gloves right there. I really like these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are plastic though. All right, I'm gonna end off here. Thanks for watching.